What's up, YouTube? Michael here. Uh, just had a customer drop off a 8.8 .8 differential out of a Ford Mustang. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how I rebuild a differential. Uh, it's one of those things that can be done a hundred different ways. Everybody does them a little bit different, but this is how I was taught and I've successfully built a many of them. So uh, this is it. You know, it's got RTV on the cover and those definitely are not factory 8.8 .8 cover bolts. So that's never a good sign when somebody else has been into a rear end before you. Um, the customer seems to think it's just a set of bearings, so he's gonna bring the parts sometime tomorrow, I suppose, but I'll go ahead and get it stripped down tonight and see what kind of damage I can see. Um, so we'll go ahead and start here. Check the backlash on this gear it needs to be set up exactly where it was or you run the risk of it making noise uh, by changing the backlash changes the pattern could cause noise if it didn't make noise as is but to get as accurate of a backlash reading as you can you want to go ahead and pull this pin here out and your pinion pin you need a magnet pull the c-clips out slide your axles out. Once your axles are out, you check your uh, inspect your axles for wear um, in case your axle bearing took a dump. And then we'll be able to check the backlash. So just because it had the silicone doesn't necessarily mean that somebody had been into the differential, maybe just did a fluid change. Um, but as soon as you see shims, more than one thick block per side, like this one, see how that's just one? That's an OEM factory shim. This one over here looks like several shims varying in sizes and thicknesses. Uh, so 100% this differential has been rebuilt which isn't a problem necessarily but you know who knows what the previous person did or didn't do so driver side axle was okay passenger side axle not too hot I will let the customer know it's got some pitting going on if it were my axle I'd replace it so, but all I can do is let him know what I'm finding and go from there. So next I'll set up the Dow indicator, check where the backlash is now. I'll go ahead and I'll spike both caps and the housing, which doesn't look like it's been spiked before. So whoever rebuilt it last time could potentially have mix the caps up not a big deal but you know it is additional stress on on the bearings themselves so forward backlash it's normally like eight to twelve thousandths. It's, it's it's rather wide as to where the majority of your GMs are six to ten thousandths. Uh, this one is extremely tight. I 
Now I rolled it around several times. The widest I seen was like 5,000, so I wouldn't be surprised if this ring and pinion makes noise and perhaps the customer couldn't hear it over exhaust, tires, or um, what he suspects to be a bad pinion bearing. So, all we can work with is what we have. We'll go ahead and get it tore down the rest of the way and check out the bearings. I stopped the time lapse on this. Normally I figured I was gonna fight it a little bit to get the carrier out. Um, Cause they are supposed to be tight. You're supposed to hammer, you know, with a brass drift or aluminum drift. These bearings and shims should go into the housing extremely tight. Where the only way you can get it out is with a pry bar. You have to get up underneath this here ring gear bolt and pry this side until it breaks up. And then normally you can get in on the clutch packs, which this carrier is a little bit different. So uh, you probably just have to try to bite underneath the ring gear here, or possibly get underneath it here. Um, and you just work it back and forth until you can get inside the carrier in the, in the center and, and really get it out. I mean, you know, this right here, being able to do that, that'll tear up the carrier bearings all by itself. Found the main culprit. It's a tail pinion bearing. The bearing isn't that bad. It has a little bit of pitting in it, but the race is completely shot. And based on the way that pinion pretty much fell out, use the air hammer to drive the pinion flange off of the pinion splines. Generally, I then have to take the air hammer and drive the pinion back out of the bearings or out of the crush collar because of the squeeze, so. I won't say expert, but my professional opinion is uh, the crush crawler wasn't crushed enough and it allowed the bearings to sit there and vibrate or slap. Um, especially since it's just on one side and it's not uniform all the way around. You can see the wear at nine and three o'clock. And then the pinion, or the, the bearing rather, it's really not in that bad a shape. It has a little bit of pitting, but the customer described it as very loud and annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and contact him and let him know that Think we'll be okay with a bearing kit and uh i'll tell him about that axle and i'll let him know about the ring and pinion too but you know he's pretty confident that it was just this here bearing noise or perhaps the bearing noise was covering up the ring and pinion noise uh, that's to be determined i'll put that ball in his court but uh i guess i can go ahead and do this as part one he's going to bring me the parts the bearing kit tomorrow and I can make a part two uh, reassembly. That's probably the part everybody wants to see, but that's a basic teardown. You know, it's a lot It's a lot more tedious in the vehicle when you have to remove the brakes and such. Um, really, that's just it, brakes and wheels, if it's in the vehicle, then you can stand. You don't got one of these sweet seats. But uh, yeah, differential teardown, pretty simple. Not that difficult at all. One more thing, you'll notice that all of my videos have the same exact beat and uh, time lapse or if I install a picture into the uh, video or something like that, that's because I'm doing all the video editing from my phone and that's the only beat that I have that is worth a damn honestly. So if somebody has some beats and they'd like to like send them to me, one of my friends or something, you know, y'all know how to get to me. 
So shoot me a beat or something, and I'll change it up some. Thank you.